Um, that's a great way to attract birds to your backyard. Uh, and also building a net box is another great way that you can attract birds to breed in your backyard as well if you have space. Even if you don't have a yard, you can just do it in your balcony or just go for a walk and uh, experience birds that way. Well, I was going to say, so building the, the box at your... A lot of people are at home with young kids right now, so what, what kinds of activities or projects can they do with the kids to, to keep them busy and, and get them to notice the birds more too? Right, well, often crafts is always good with kids. I mean, I have my own three-year-old at home, and she's bouncing on the walls, and she needs the activities. So going outside in the yard and building a bird feed like we did the other day, um, we have chickadees come to see the mattress this morning. It's a great way to get kids engaged both in the activity, but also enjoying the, the consequence of that activity and learning a whole lot about birds while they're at it. So we have advice on the, the rooster that I mentioned. Uh, it's a great website where you can find information on how we can uh, build bird feeders or build bird houses. Okay, um, just simple materials. Do you have to be a carpenter, or uh, are these things meant to last year after year? Can well, they be? You have to be a carpenter, but if you're not, like I'm not, um, you can usually build them on your own, which is scraps of wood, or I mean, bird, bird houses are a bit more complicated, but bird feeders are really easy to build from just a pot bottle uh, and some bird feed and some string, and you can hang it up to a tree in the back garden. Um, but 